Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch two point campus game or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Now still you're facing the problem then. This is for Steam users, try beta version. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and go to betas tab and from the drop down select patch beta 2 point campus patch beta and once you select it there will be an update once the update is complete launch the game now still you are facing the problem then next step is to disconnect controller so if you are using keyboard and mouse disconnect controller and then launch the game Next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and region is correct on your computer. On the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time, then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically is on. Also make sure set time zone automatically is also on. And then click on sync now. Make sure that you click on sync now. Once this is done, now also make sure a region is correct on your computer. So go to time and language and then go to language and region and then make sure right country is selected over here. Also try changing the language to English. So over here you can see language icon over here, click on it and try changing the language to English and then check. If you don't find English language over here, in that case go to start menu and then click on settings. Go to time and language, language and region click on add a language and in the search you can type in English and from the drop down you can you can select English United States or English United Kingdom then click on next install it and then make sure English is on top so in Windows 11 click on move up and it will move up to the top and Windows 10 simply drag it to the top and then launch launch the game next step is to verify the game file for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 version so click on Click on this exe file x86. Now, once the download is complete, run both x64 and x86 versions. So, click on it. Click on repair or install. So, you might see the install option. If you see install, click on install. If you see the repair, click on repair. Click on yes to allow. Now, run the second file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on in install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now once both the installation are complete now you will see the restart option so make sure that you click on restart restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is for xbox game pass user or steam users run the game as an administrator for this go to steam make a right click on the game over here and then click on create a desktop shortcut and then go to desktop here you can see the shortcut has been created now make a right click and then click on run as administrator so try launching the game as an administrator now for steam users make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder over here you can see tpc this is the game exe file make a right click and then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then click on apply ok and make a double click over here and try launching the game now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia on nvidia website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search scroll down over here you can see geforce game ready driver this is the latest one right now so click on get download click 
on download now. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file and then you will see the screen, click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. Now, let the installation complete. Now, after the installation, your driver should be up to date. Now, the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card. Make sure that you're running the game on dedicated graphic card. For this, type in graphic settings in Windows set box and then click on graphic settings. Now, click on browse. Now, go to the game installation folder. So, if the game is installed in C drive, go to this PC, open C drive, then open program files x86. Now, open this Steam folder. Now open the Steam Apps folder. Now open the Common folder. Now open the Game folder. Over here you will find the game file. In my case, it's in E Drive. So open the Steam, fol Steam folder, Steam Apps Common, and then open the Game folder. And then select this exe file, then click on Add. Now once the game is added away, click on Options select high performance and then click on save. Now for Xbox Game Pass user, click on this add an app and then over here, select Microsoft Store app. And then once you select Microsoft Store app, now click on browse. Now find the game in the list. So over here you can see the game, select the game. And once the game is added, click on options, high performance, then click on save and then launch the game. Now, next step is to disconnect multiple external devices. If you have multiple external devices connected to the computer. So if these devices are connected and if you're not using it, disconnect all these devices from the computer. So disconnect all the external devices, which you're not using. Also close these software. So if you have these software running, close these software. So make sure only the Steam and the game is running or only the Xbox app and the game is running. Rest close everything, including all your browsers. Also remove Underbolt. So if you have undervolted your hardware, remove the Underbolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update your Windows. So make sure your Windows is updated. Go to the start menu, click on settings. Now go to Windows update, click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you have, if you're using Windows security, then go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now, if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security, then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 11 in Windows 10, click on update and security, then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down, click on manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. Again, go to the game installation folder and select the game exe file. And then click on open. Now, once the game is added over here, now launch the game. Now, the next step is to close all the overlay applications. So, first of all, disable Steam overlay. For this, make a right click on the game, select properties. Uncheck the box which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Uncheck this, now launch the game. Now, if you have any other overlay application, so if you have Discord running, close Discord. Now, if you have GE Force Experience running, close GE Force Experience. So close all the overlay application. Also close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI after burner running on the computer, close MSI after burner. If you have revert unit running, close revert unit. So close all the overclocking application. Also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then click on hide all Microsoft services. Put a check over here and then click on disable all. In my case, this is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, it would be highlighted. So put a check over here first, then click on disable all, then click on apply, click on okay. You will see the restart option, restart a computer and then launch the game. Next up is to launch the game in window mode and then lower down graphic settings. For this, launch the game first. Now go to settings.
and then go to video settings and then select window mode from here also lower down resolution so if everything is set to 4k you can if resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p or you can even lower down more so try to lower down the screen resolution and then click on apply click on accept also if the vsync is on turn it off and then scroll down now if everything is set to very high you can select high you can select medium low or even you can try very low so try to lower down the graphics now the next step is to uninstall the game so for this you can make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall delete the game folder from the game installation folder restart the computer and then reinstall the game to different drive so if you have another ssd or hdd try installing the game to different drive and then check now for xbox game pass user again make sure date time time zone and reason is correct in your computer next step is to make sure you are logged in with same account on microsoft store and with same account on xbox app so open microsoft store on your computer on the top right here you can see a profile icon click on it then click on sign out now click on sign in now select the right account and then click on continue it will be asking for your pino password so enter the pino password now once logged in now go to xbox app and then on the top left here you can see a profile icon click on it then click on sign out again click on sign in sign in and again select the same account which you have selected on microsoft store and make sure that account has a game pass subscription so make sure that you are logged in with same account on microsoft store and with the same account on xbox app and then launch the game now the next step is to verify and repair for this open xbox app make a right click on the game or click on this three dot and then click on manage now go to files and then click on verify and repair and then click on yes and after the verification launch the game now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services for this copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services now once this is done now copy the second command again paste it on the same window hit the enter key now this will open microsoft store and you will see the install option to install gaming services click on install click on yes to allow and let the download complete now once the download is complete now open xbox app and then launch the game so make sure gaming services is installed first now the next step is to run this powershell command this command is also provided in the video description copy it type in powershell once again in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command hit the enter key now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so if you see any errors in red color just ignore it and let the process complete now once done close this window and then launch the game now the next step is to install all the updates in microsoft store so open microsoft store in computer on the top on the bottom left click on library over here and over here you will see get updates option so click on get updates once all the updates are installed launch the game now the next step is to repair and reset the game for this go to settings and then go to apps and then apps and features now in the in the search you can type in two point campus and then in windows 10 simply click on it and then you will see the advanced option in windows 11 click on this three dot then click on advanced option now once you click on advanced option scroll down click on repair and after the repair launch the game if that does not work click on reset read this click on reset and after the reset launch the game now after the reset once you perform reset you might see the install option 
just close the Xbox app and then open Xbox app once again and you should be able to see the play option. Now launch the game. If nothing works, then uninstall and reinstall the game. For this, make a right click on the game and then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, reinstall the game and then check. So one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.